so welcome to this Wednesday's video. That sounds kind of weird, but whatever. So today in this video, we're going to be organizing my school binder because I keep all my stuff in a binder for school and because it's really messy. Right now it looks like this and that's my schedule, but we need to clean it up. So I'm just going to be showing you how to do that and well, like what I'm going to do and you guys can, if you want to do something like that if you're in school. So yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so what I'm going to be using for this video is some clear scotch tape, a mechanical pencil and some pencil lead, um, some scissors, some paper clips, normal printer paper, and some colored pencils, uh, highlighters, and other stuff. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my pencil case, which is kind of a mess. <laughs> but yeah, it's just I haven't had, like, there's a lot of, well, wow, this sounds dumb, but there are a lot of pencils in it and other stuff. So I'm going to take everything out of my pencil case and sort of into groups, just like pencils, highlighters, pens, and pencils. And homework passes, because our school does that. You can, like, get half of your homework free or something. I don't know. I've never even used one because I'm too scared. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, so this is going to take a while, so I'll speed through. Okay, guys, so now I've sorted everything into pens, highlighters, pencils, eraser, and homework passes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the pens and put them back because they all work and they're fine. So those just go back inside. And then the highlighters, they mostly work except for this one, which doesn't work because I had to use it for homework. And I have to buy a new one of these. And I also have to get a new pen, which I'll get later. And now the pencils, I'm not putting the pencils back in. Instead, I'm going to replace them with the mechanical pencil because the pencils just made my pencil case way too big. So, and there's the mechanical pencil. And those pencils, I'll figure out what to do with them later. So now what I'm going to do with all these homework passes is I have to sort them out by class because now they're all just there. And yeah, so I'll fast forward through that too. So now I've finished, um, put all my homework passes for math and science into separate piles. I even repaired some of them because they were ripped. So now these are going to go back into, and then I have a spare eraser, which I'm going to put in there for no reason. But, um, yeah. So then that's my pencil case just finished, but I'm not going to put it in yet. So I'm just going to go over there. Another thing that I have to organize is my homework folder because literally it's gonna fall off <laughs> so there the binder not the but the holes here that for the binder they ripped so i have to repair them and inside my homework binder is just my homework that's done and stuff that goes home and yeah and then this is the homework that i still have to do so now i'm going Oh, and that homework that's in the due, that's not due today. So don't think, wow, it's 6 o'clock and you haven't done your homework yet. <laughs> but, well, actually, I'm filming this on um, Monday. But still, it's due on next Monday. So. so then what I'm doing is I'm just taking a... Um, piece of clear tape and cutting it into little squares and then I just like fix this a little bit because it's really not in good shape at all so I just cut it to make it better to like close up the holes and it should fix it and it usually does this is not the first time my school binder 
It is not in very good shape, if you guys haven't guessed already. So yeah, it's only the first two. They've already broken once, so there is more tape on it. And then, yeah, this actually doesn't take that long to fix, but it's just annoying to not have it fixed. So, and now that it's fixed, I can just stick it back in here, hopefully. Uh -huh. um, I think that's it for actually inside the binder. Now we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna do my schedule. So, um, we switch subjects halfway for through, like a couple times throughout the year, like special or UA specials, um, and it said in the yellow square. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it says um, math two because we had two math classes. Well, that changed to a different subject, so I have to change that. And so what I want to do is take this paper and cut it into little squares. That way I can cover up the math too and write what I need to write. And I can color it in yellow also. So I'll see you when that's done. Okay guys, so now I got all the little pieces of paper on and it's covering up the math too. I actually used the glue stick to glue it on. So now I'm going to color it in yellow and write R slash W for reading and writing. So I'll see you when that's done. Okay guys, so now that I finished that, this is what my schedule looks like. It says R slash W instead of math too. So I'm just going to put that back in my binder. And I'm going to put my pencil case back in there too. And then we're going to start working on the tape that goes, um, that's on the outside that's actually holding my binder together because it's broken. And don't tell me that I need to get a new binder because I don't have any other binders. But, um, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, but I do have to get a new binder. So now we're going to do the outside because as you can see it kind of curls up here and the inside's not that good either. So we're going to destroy my binder by peeling the tape off, but then we're going to fix it again by putting more clean tape on. So I just want to see how this fits, and it's definitely better than before. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to peel this disgusting tape off. It's literally holding this part of my binder to the, um, to the, to the other part. And that's just kind of sad. What the heck is this tape even for? So I'm just going to get some tape and just start taping my binder because it's literally broken and I'm going to take out my science folder. Oh, I have to replace this tape too. And so this is literally a gallon storage bag. You can buy it at like Stop and Shop <laughs> or like, I bet you could even buy it at like CVS or Rite Aid or like Cumberland Farms or something. I don't know, but like you can buy gallon storage bags pretty much everywhere. And yeah, <laughs> because this completely broke off. And then this is just gonna go here. And I'm just going to add some more tape there because that's peeling off. And then all the other tape is clean. So I don't really need to replace it. I'm only replacing the tape that like actually needs to be replaced. And where are my scissors? Oh, come on. Oh, wow, I'm an idiot. They were inside my binder. That just made me feel really dumb. 
<laughs> but uh, whatever. And I have to replace this bottom part too because it curls up and it doesn't look good. Okay, this is a long piece of cake. Oh, okay, that's what keeps the bottom on. So yeah, this is like the final thing that I'm doing to reorganize my school binder because I just, it's February break just ended. And, um, oh yeah, if you guys were wondering on, um, last Wednesday's video, not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday before that, um, why I was at, like, a different house, it was February break and I was at my grandma's house, so, yeah. Okay, so now that this is fixed, I can put my science folder back inside. And it should stay like that for another, like, three months. And then I'm going to have to redo it again. So, yeah, this is what it looks like all finished. And on the inside, I have my science folder, pencil case, student planner, and homework folder. And then... Nothing. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And yeah, see you on Sunday. Bye.